Okay, so basically, it's pretty, it smells bad pretty right now because it's in the drying stage, but basically what I did was, first, you have to make sure that the fish is completely, you know, dead and thawed out because these guys were frozen for a while. And so once that happened, you have to make an incision from the anal cavity, which is located down there at the, like the edge of the tail, where his anal fins are. You can't see them right now because they're dried up, but you make an incision and you cut all the way open up into the breastplate. And what you do is you're gonna gut it out, basically clean out the internal organs and anything else attached inside. So it should just be, you know, flesh. Then, as you can see, you'll have to remove the eye sockets. You'll have to take those out. It took a little bit of time, but that's probably the more, you know, difficult part being that the eye sockets are attached to the skull. So once you get like that one ligament detached, it's the cake from there. Then what I did was I placed push pins these little pins right here i placed them propping up each what do we call it dorsal fin yeah each dorsal fin and i placed them in place and spots so basically when it boiled these dorsal fins when they were um hardened they stuck like this so that way if i try to bend them they'll break so it kept these dorsal fins protruded which is pretty dope as you can see the fins the fin, like the little flush between the dorsal fins, it's not really there anymore because I happened to boil it a little too long and it basically rotted the, the flesh off, but still looks good. Now, I would also recommend, as you can see, his fins are kind of bent. That's just the way I placed him down. He dried like that, but I also placed push pins in the back of the fins so they would, that way they would, they would protrude out. And so when I boiled it, it wouldn't be stuck to his side as well. Like I said, it's a little nasty process, but basically after you boil it, don't boil it for too long because if you do, it'll become brittle. These, these gadanoid scales are really, really tough. So this works perfectly with armor fish. There's another technique as well that I'll be trying in a few weeks. And if you want updates, just, you know, you'll see them in the group eventually. But after you clean out everything and you boil the fish, what you want to do is you want to get a wet paper towel and stuff it on the inside all day. So every day, do it at least once a day, a fresh wet paper towel. So that way during the drying process, it doesn't become too brittle and, you know, break. And what I boiled it in was 70% alcohol. Now, when you boil this, you have to be very careful because it is, you know, a fire risk. So if you want to decrease the chances of a fire risk, what I did was I diluted it with a little bit of water. So as I was boiling the alcohol, I mixed some water in there with it. Not too much to like, you know, dilate it too much, but mix some water with it. And eventually it came out like this. Pretty good. Took roughly, I think, two minutes to boil like this, if most at most. Now, larger ones will take a bit longer, but I feel like even at the largest stage, it shouldn't take more than five minutes. So if you have anything around 17, 18 inches, roughly five minutes is the top time for all these. I'm gonna remove this, and as you can see, it gets brittle. So I'm gonna have to cut the video and, you know, fix this.